Hello everybody! So you guys probably have seen that on my channel in, I don't know, some time ago, I uploaded a couple of review videos of things I bought online. I've decided to start reviewing products that I ordered online. Uh, why? Because simply, I don't know, I have a lot of them and I'm actually passionate about it because I was purchasing stuff online and I couldn't find any information about stuff that I was exactly ordering. So I thought, why not me? Why not create a serious and showcase all the products to you guys. So this being one of the first episodes, actually third episode at this point, um, I thought I still should give you a little introduction, but after this, I'm just going to keep rolling. So today, as you can see, I will be reviewing this very big uh, and very interesting mouse pad or mouse mat. So let's get started. First, let us take a quick peek at the online listing. So as you can see, we have some images to show us what's going on. And also we can choose the sizes. Now the sizes are represented in millimeters, but you can also quickly convert them to centimeters. So we have 30 by 70, 30 by 60, and we have a couple of more. You can actually take a look through the recommended or similar products on any of the websites where you find this listing and you'll be able to find a bunch of more sizes. So here's the size that I actually ordered which is 900 by 400 or 90 centimeters by 40 centimeters. So the good thing overall is that it does come in various sizes that you can pick for yourself and for your needs. I measured my table and I thought that this is the best size for me. Now if we scroll underneath we can actually see the product details and find out more about what's going on. So there are five things to pay attention to. It says it, that it's designed for gamers, the color is all black world map and it does support full keyboard with a mouse. I can attest to all of these. As well as there is a low friction. On top there is a smooth surface which does allow you to move your mouse fast. Also underneath is anti-slip rubber base and I do agree with this. Now it says that it's optimized for various mouse sensors and sensitivities. I wouldn't say it's really optimized for anything. It's just a mouse mat. Nothing to it really. Now underneath we have some more photos and it shows us that it's made out of natural rubber. Now I'm not sure. I don't know the difference between normal and natural and artificial rubber. It's all same to me but do stick around. There's going to be something interesting about this. It says precision wave. I don't know what this means. Now it says locking edge. Around the mat there is actually a stitching which serves as an edge. Now does it, what does it lock? I don't know but it's there. And it's not slippery of course. It does look nice. I do agree to all of these. Now once the mat arrives to your home it's actually just wrapped in some sort of a wrapping and it comes like this. There's nothing special. It could possibly be actually wrapped in some sort of a bubble wrap but it doesn't matter. Uh, just simple stuff. It cannot get damaged during the transport so that's I think the most important thing that I should mention. This one arrived actually in a pretty good condition as you, I think you were able to see. Yeah, just pretty good condition in my opinion. Uh, the size that I ordered is actually 900 or actually just 90 centimeters by 40 centimeters. I actually do have a meter here that I'll be using to uh, measure this one, but so we can exactly see uh, the specs. I'll show you guys the overhead camera after this, but let's just check it out a little bit more. According to specifications, the one that I got is a little smaller than what they are advertising on the product listing. It's supposed to be 90 centimeters, it's about 89, 89.5, it's not that big of a deal, but this is one thing that you should know if you are ordering from China or just any website from China. Usually they will give you a size or a color, but it's going to be a little bit different. So if the size is supposed to be 90 centimeters, you're going to get a little smaller thing. So just there's always a little wiggle room and I think that's to some extent it's fine. The price still you know tells you the value of the item so to my experience it's still you know just fine now let's take a look at what is it made out of and what's going on then i'm going to give you i guess the pros the cons and then i'm going to give you my experience what are the good things and the bad things in my opinion so first things first the top of the mouse pad i guess i'm going to wrap it unwrap it all the way so you can see it on the desk here oh that looks Beautiful. I love that angle. I'm sorry that it's actually upside down. Let's twist it. No big deal. Why not? And actually, I do have a mouse here, I think. Yep, here's one mouse. I'm just going to place it here 
just so you can compare maybe I don't know I don't have a banana for a scale so I guess this will do the top is actually very uh, smooth type of texture it's sort of a cloth but it's very smooth just like your regular mouse pad would be and uh, yeah it feels great actually to me one bad thing about the top is well I guess I'll, I'll leave it for the cons section the bottom is actually made out of non or some some type of a texture that's supposed to be non-slippery I think and it's sort of a rubbery texture and to mine to my experience it actually does not slip on the desk just like every other mouse mat but it has a little it has two flaws but we'll talk about it later as well and finally around the mouse mat as you can see the whole mouse mat actually has a stitching around it that I think is actually pretty quality stitching it's actually just fine this is the only for example damage that I have so far in the stitching and I have had this mouse mat for about two years so that's what it is now let's talk about the pros of this mat first of all it's very big and uh, like I've said the texture is very nice very smooth and uh, it doesn't slip I mean just basically everything that seller did uh, state it holds truth other than it being huge and very cheap I think that's one of its biggest pros yeah it looks beautiful the motive on top or the I don't know if you want to call this an image uh, is actually beautiful it's a map of the entire world and I think this red is supposed to signify the some sort of uh, I don't know border or some shit like this is the middle of the world I'm not I'm not sure I'm not exactly uh, like a specialist but you also have these lines that I think you can see that go all the way I think they signify the zone the time zones or something like that not really a specialist on the map thing but that's what it is to my to me motive is beautiful everything is in black and white and then you just have one little red line it gives it a special unique look and I love it I love the way it looks can't complain about it now let's take a look at the cons and what I think are the bad sides of this mouse mat first things first is obviously there's a little bit of a thing with the culture of ordering from China every time you order something just expect it to be a little smaller expect it to be a little different color so there's always something that's not gonna be exactly truth you're, you're gonna get like 98% of the truth but there's gonna be something like for example if the cable is supposed to be one meter it's gonna be 95 centimeters I think you get the point it's not a con, it's more of a culture thing, but still, I, I learned to understand it, and it's just fine to me. Next thing, what is the actual con with the top, how do you say, like, the just the top, this side over here? Well, actually, it's pretty cold, and uh, in winter times, it, it, it can be very cold. For example, right now, it's winter, my desk is actually pretty cold, and then when you put this on top of the desk, it's really cold. So, uh, yeah, it takes some time to get warm after you start using it a little bit, or if you warm up your room first. Um, other than that, yeah, just fine. It's very slippery, so that's, but still, it's a con that it's very cold. Oh, yeah, one thing that I mentioned is washing is just fine. It does get dirty here and there. I do see some yellowing going on. Uh, there's like a little dust here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me try to like give you a little better view of that particular issue. There's some yellowing, but there like like there's like 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 I don't know. There's like a little yellowing here and there. I think that's because I eat at my computer desk, and I think most of us do. So you gotta wash this a little better. The last time I washed this was like three or four months ago. I just usually take a, I don't know some sort of a cloth that I you know some sort of a wet cloth, and I just wipe it off a little bit here and there. Nothing special. The last time I did that again was three months ago, something like that. So. So what you get, gotta clean it. But to still, very nice condition after two years, I think. Now let's actually take a look at the stitching. Once again, the stitching itself, after two years, just a little bit of it coming off here, but nothing major, so not a big deal. Stitching works just fine. But there is a major flaw actually here with this mouse mat. After using it for about seven to eight months, I noticed a first flaw with this mouse pad. I, I think I said mice at this one point, but I don't know. Let's check it out. What is it? What am I talking about? Whoa, what is that? No, this is not fault of Lee Cyan or uh, Kimberly or Asa Kira or somebody like that. This is the fault of the mat itself. Simply after, after a while, it just, just starts to happen. 
I want to take a little time out here and before we proceed with the video, I just want to explain how I washed this mouse mat. First time that I washed it was after 6, maybe 7, 8 months when I first got it. The only way I actually cleaned it was with some wet cloth, just regular water and I just wiped it off a little bit and that seemed to do the trick. The first time I washed it is when I discovered this major damage to the rubber underneath. I thought maybe I spilled something on the mouse mat. Maybe I, I don't know, maybe there's some chemical that I spilled, maybe it's my fault. Let me wash it, wash out the chemical, whatever it is, let me clean it, and then maybe it's gonna be alright. The way I washed it is simply using warm soapy water, just a little bit of soap, a little bit of warm water. It wasn't hot, it wasn't super cold, just warm enough to my hands, and then I washed it a little bit, washed it a couple of more times, rinsed it many more times, and then I left it to dry out, just in a regular temperature. Even after doing that, the damage continues to spread. To me, after washing it and seeing that the damage is continuing to spread, the only conclusion I have is that I didn't do anything to uh, make this happen. The only logical conclusion, to some extent, would be that the simple material is not good quality. Well, let's, let's talk about first thing. When it comes to uh, this mat being non-slippery, it actually is pretty non-slippery. So, I'll, gi I'll give you like a comparison. I have two mouse mats this one and a little smaller one and you'll see how this thing actually works it works just fine to me honestly but the major flaw is that the rubber underneath for some reason it seems to dis disintegrate I don't know what this is uh, like I can literally pull this apart like t take a look at this watch this like I will literally pull this apart look at that you see that for some reason, the rubber seems to burn out. I don't know, it's not elastic anymore. It, it hardens and it also becomes sticky. I, I think you can see how reflective it is at these points. Look how normal it looks here, but look how it looks like it's reflective and gluey around here. So that's the major issue with this mouse pad, mouse mat. How do I use it? Okay, maybe it's my... Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I actually made this happen. Let's first actually demonstrate it. So the way I use this mouse mat is usually like this. And then the keyboard would be here. Now pay attention where the issue is actually. It's right here. So here's where it is. Let me just watch this. Look, right there. But this is where I hold my hand. So it clearly isn't my fault for doing something. As you can see, no damage is happening here yet. Well, actually, there is some breaking going on here let me try to demonstrate that as well so there is breaking of the mouse rubber underneath as you can see it is breaking up and it is it, it it's becoming a little sticky at this point here i can feel it it's a little bit sticky and it it's starting to break up and it's hardened a little bit not too much but it's still hardened but if we keep moving down and down and yep this is where the major flaw is so what I have what I've noticed is let me just put it like this what I've noticed is uh, after using this mouse mat or mouse pad for a while I tried to actually take it off my desk and I noticed that this part simply glued itself to the desk and it literally left a bunch of uh, I don't know dirty stains on the desk and a bunch of uh, gluey material so to me it seems like it's simply disintegrating maybe from some maybe it's because of the heat but my room is not that warm I'm gonna give me just a moment watch this so this I don't know if you can see that is the current temperature in my room so right there the heating is actually off and usually when the heating is turned off it gets up to 20 uh, Celsius I think this is Fahrenheit on the other side yeah you can see that and it's not very warm it's not that cold either honestly to me at least it feels just fine but for some reason the rubber the rubber is simply disintegrating so maybe simply the pl the rubber underneath has a short lifespan and that's pretty much what might be happening because my hands are mostly on this area not here but here and here so maybe it's simply the rubber itself. I don't, I don't see any damages around the middle, but actually only at the bottom portion. So again, might be me, but most likely it's the rubber itself that is low quality. At the end, we are left with, I guess, two questions. Would I recommend this? Mm, maybe. It really depends if you're desperate, I guess. If you know that this is going to happen, why buy it? However, 
you might get lucky again. This might have just been an accident for me. Maybe I did something, but I doubt it. Still, I wanted to give you an honest feedback on this product. Now, the question obviously is, am I using this at the moment? No, I am using this mouse mat pad, which I actually own for about four to five years. I used this one before I purchased this big one. So yeah, I just, you know, gotta go back. That's what it is. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I tried to condense as much information as I could into this video and give you a detailed feedback and analysis of this product and just, yeah, honest review. Let me know in the comments what do you think. Uh, if I missed something, maybe I can do another part of this if you want me to test something in particular. But that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. I will see you in future episodes. Priest? Signing out. I missed that one. I missed it. Whoop. That's better. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act. Head up, that's a fact.